Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Mental Studio. And in this video tutorial, we're going to be covering our newest asset, Amplitude, for WebGL. As you might be aware, Unity's implementation of audio analysis really doesn't exist. So Amplitude provides you access to audio data samples and also a, a runtime average of that sample collection. So the included demo scene is set up to show you a 32 data sample array and also the average output. And so let's go ahead and start this. And let me turn this down. So you can see it's, it's actually feeding each slot from that 32 sample array into one of these sliders. And then it's also providing you its computed average output. And as you can see, Amplitude obviously needs an audio source and you can set the sample size right here. And just FYI, in this demo, if you set the sample size other than 32, you won't see any output in these first 32 sliders. You'll only see the average output. And then you can provide a boost. A boost of zero is no boost at all. A boost of one is full on scaling where your data output is going to be all ones, all on. And then there's the absolute value checkbox here. And what this will do is convert the audio data, which is normally a negative one to one range, it will convert it to a zero to one. So we can quickly look at the script that actually sets up this demo here. And what we're doing is setting up uh, public slots for the amplitude component. And let's see, I believe this is on the canvas. Yes, here it is right here. So uh, we're going to have the amplitude component and then the average slider and then the array of 32 sliders for display of that sample array. And basically all it's doing is on each update, it's grabbing and setting the average value of the sample array to that far right slider here. This is where the average is being written. And then it, it's looping through each of these 32 sliders here and depositing the actual data sample in that data array. And this is the check to ensure that our sample length doesn't exceed the length of the number of sliders that we have here. So if you want to run that with 64, you'll have to basically just take these, duplicate them, and then add them to the sliders array right here. Okay, so in this video, let's see, we're going to walk through setting basically setting this up so we're going to have a slider that's going to present our average data and it's going to basically modulate the value of that slider value and we can look at that slider and we can see that the slider value is being modulated by our amplitude setup so let's set all this up from scratch this won't take but just a few minutes start with a new scene let's go ahead and add a slider UI slider let's set this slider up first off uh, let's let's put this guy right in the middle here there we go and let's uh, well we're not quite in the middle but that's good enough oh yeah maybe we are let's go ahead and scale this up and give the slider a value so we can see what is going on here and we don't need this handle so let's get rid of all of that and let's make sure our fill area, when we adjust our slider, zero, we want it to be all zero, and one, we want it to be full one. So let's go in here. Our fill area needs to go to the max, and then why are we not popping there? Oh, we're beyond it. Okay, there we go. So, zero and one. Yep, it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's all set up. We're pretty much done there. Let's create a new empty. We'll call this amplitude. And let's add our amplitude. Well, first let's add an audio source. We definitely are going to need that. And then let's add amplitude. And amplitude needs that audio source, so let's go ahead and link that in. It's not going to find it on its own. 
and uh, actually that's all we need to do there let's go go ahead and create our script so let's create our new script we'll come in here create a new C sharp script and let's just call this demo slider and let's open it up so let's just get rid of this stuff First off, we are going to need Unity Engine.ui for our slider. And we are going to need our Crazy Minnow Amplitude WebGL namespace. Okay. So let's create two public slots. One is going to be for our slider, and we'll just call it slider. And the other is going to be for our amplitude and we'll call this just amp that should be fine and then we need an update and really all we're going to do here each frame will take the amplitude average output and feed that directly into our slider value so amp.average and that's pretty much it that's all we need to do so let's go ahead and save this and let's go back in here and then on amplitude let's drop our new script yeah, let's let it compile here. Let's drop it on. And we need to drag our amplitude instance and our slider instance. So we'll take this, drop it in here. And there's no configuration or anything for that. Let's go ahead and adjust our slider. Well, let's make sure it works first. Okay, one thing we need to do is drop audio in. So let's drop this from bin sound. Uh, we need to drop that on our audio clip. Play on awake. Yep, that looks good. Good old binsound.com. Okay, so what we're seeing is amplitude computing our average from a 32 sample array. And we can go ahead and adjust this. Uh, so we'll see. So we see that that's a lot more smoothed out. We're using 512 samples. We go to 2048 way more smoothed out and if we want something a little bit more tactile we'll flip it back down to 32 that's the minimum by the way you can't go any lower than that oh we get a nice responsive averaging here uh, so we can also make this look a little bit nicer let's make the background somewhat transparent let's actually make this whoops this background solid and then on the fill we'll go and put it a nice yellow ish so it's easier to see okay obviously I'll lose all this as soon as I stop but that in a nutshell is using amplitude uh, to drive motion or basically anything else you want to trigger values based on uh, the amplitude of the audio. Uh, we do have an add-on on our website that does a beat detection of sorts that allows you to trigger on beat exceeded and then uh, basically beat receded. There's also an add-on that marries this up to our Salsa Lip Sync product that allows you to do Salsa Lip Sync on WebGL, which was not possible before. And uh, those add-ons are free for owners of, uh, of Amplitude. So at this point, Amplitude is super simple and provides some great usability for uh, WebGL Unity users. And if we look in the readme file, there's really two things that we can get out of this at the moment. Uh, one is the average, and then the other is the sample. And basically, this is the array of those audio floats. And those are somewhat normalized. They're a negative one to one. And if you do enable, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, absolute values, then the asset will automatically convert those negative values to positive values for you, which is basically what we're using here. So if we, if we turn that off, then we're going to be missing quite a bit of the data because anything that comes out to be negative is just not going to be displayed here. Okay, well that's it for this video. I hope that was helpful and as always, stay tuned. Uh, we should be publishing some more videos with some demos and other ideas on how to use Amplitude. Most likely there's going to be a video on hooking Amplitude up to Salsa uh, and other neat things like that. So enjoy and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>